Good evening everybody and um, I thought I would pop on and do a live stream because um, actually let me just make sure that you can hear me yeah you can um, I thought I'd pop on and do a live stream because I went out today and picked up an auction lot it's the first time I've been to auction in an absolute um, age actually it's been a long 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 time um, so I ended up finding something really cool at auction I bid a little bit blind it was a job lot of action figures vintage ones hey George hey Claire George you might be interested in one of them I'm not sure um, hi Claire hi Ruthie hi Bucklewai um, Kelly how are you guys thanks for popping in so I'll quickly show you I bought a couple of crates of their figures I couldn't fully see what was in them because it was an online bid and I couldn't find the time to get down unfortunately before but there was like a crate like this um, and then there's another crate and then there's a couple of bags so there's quite a few figures to go through um, and just you know to, to, to just work through um, so I thought what we'd do is we could do like a little bit of research um, you know kind of like um, when I've seen Andrew do it I think it's quite cool um, and I can even do like a little spreadsheet um, so I can work out roughly what my money will be um, I mean, like I said I paid £175 um, it was £140 I paid um, in um, the hammer price um, and then when when you add all the other costs onto it it shot up to like 175 but you always got to be aware of that um janet nash has popped in michelle gary nicholson buckle why um ruthie says george looking forward to your live with ben yep that's going to be fantastic um yeah tomorrow george is going to be live with um ben oh, is it yeah it is, yeah, yeah. It is, of course. It is. It's out now, isn't it? The, I'm, I didn't want to kind of spoil it if it wasn't spoiled. Um, so yes, um, that the that expert reseller is live on YouTube. I don't. Well, I'm not sure what channel you're talking about, Peter. Um, but I suggest you find it. Um, it's not here. <laughs> Buckle Wise says, I was watching a Ben video to find out who he is, and then Z went live, says Buckle. Oh, sorry. Um, this will be your Del Boy. No, it's not. It's not going to be a, the pocket watch moment. I'm pretty sure of that. Anyway, let's get let's get to it. Um, like I said, £175 spent. Um, we'll go through a few of the figures. Um, actually, I want to go through... Um, yeah, you know, we'll go through and, and just research them all and see whether they're worth anything really. Because if they if they are, then that's fantastic. If they're not, then you know it's not fantastic. But there we go. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off on. A f I don't know if I can find the one I wanted to show. Oh God. If if not, I'll message I'll message you, George, because I think you might be interested in it. Because it, it is to do with your one of your favourite movies. I don't know if I can find it. Let's find out. I, I don't really know what any of this stuff is worth because obviously I've not done any proper research like you should. I just saw the lot and thought, okay, it looks pretty cool. Is it, am I finding it? There's a bunch of stuff in here, guys. I hope I've not lost it somewhere. I don't think I have. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, damn it. I'll have to, I'll have to find it. Oh, it's not in there, it's not in there, it's not. Okay, we're going to work through this methodically. Let's work through this methodically. Um, right. Um, that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work through this all methodically. We're not going to, um, we're not going to, um, yeah, we're not going to mess around. Um, and auctions fab, I'm going to try a few, says George. No, sorry, says Peter. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Mandy. Um, okay, let's play guess the price. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is this is one of the items anyway. I, I, was, I, I was looking for something that I wanted to show you, but I'll, I'll find that later. Anyway, this is going to be um, one of the items. I don't know what the value will be, so let's find out. This is a 007, the spy who loved me. Um, Posable action figure by who's this by manufactured by exclusive toy products in 1998 I think so yeah it, it's got like um it's even got a website so it, this is not going to be like mega rare or anything so let's find out what it will be so I'm just going to go across to the other screen um, and we will go for 007 
uh, the spy who loved me. I reckon this is probably worth about six quid. Um, the spy who uh, loved me. Um, Anya, whatever her name is, Anya Figure. We'll type in Anya Figure. We'll see what it's worth. Um, okay. Well, scrolling down, there, there's someone trying to get twenty pounds for it, but they have failed. They've got best offer. Someone else trying to get twenty pounds. So um, let's go to completed and see if there's anyone that's actually sold one. Um, no one has sold one at 20. Someone got 30 at, at auction, but that was for the James Bond version. Oh, there you go. Someone got 10 plus 12 pound shipping from Germany. Um, so, eh, the, the two that are listed currently are asking 20 pounds, if you can see. So, what would you say? Should we say um, comps? Yeah, I, I've had a look at comps. Um, I don't know how many in the lot, actually, Daisy. Thanks for asking, but I don't know. Uh, Mandy reckons a tenner. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, Mr. Sadie, how are you? Yes, yeah, so I don't know what we'll, we'll go for. I mean, someone got, like I said, someone got 30 for Bond, but someone got £10 plus £12 shipping from Germany. Well, like £10 plus shipping. So that's one that's actually sold. But because there's none others on the market that are at that price, I don't know what I should do. Um, yeah, I could do Terra Peak searches. That's not a bad idea, actually. That's a good idea. Why didn't you say that? That's a great idea, um, RJ. Thank you for for that idea. I'm gonna actually do a Terra Peak search. That's, we'll, we'll do Terra Peak searches, and then I can fill in on. Um, then I can fill. No, one has sold. One has sold. Um, what I'll do is we'll, we'll do Terra Peak searches. I'll set it to all the websites. Um, and we'll do it for the past year and we'll do it that way. So here, here is the Terra Peak research tab. So yeah, we're going to just go for uh, 007 Anya figure uh, Spy who loved me. Is it Spy who loved me? Yeah, Spy who uh, loved me. So that's the first one anyway. 14.99 with best offer. Yeah, well, they got, uh, yeah, so all the that was um Anya, at uh, auction, £7 plus £8 shipping, so auction, auction, um, someone sold Jaw uh, Jaws might be worth more money though, someone had like a full set, but yeah, I think I'm going to go for, yeah, £10 plus shipping or £15 with best offer, we'll go for £15 with best offer, shall we, I think that's probably fair, got to be 15 just, so what we'll do, we'll put that in, um, into the spreadsheet here, um, so, Anya uh, 007 uh, Spy who sp yeah, Spy fig um, We'll call it that just to, to not make the title too long um, and we reckon we're gonna go for fourteen ninety nine um, On that one we'll go for fourteen ninety nine on that one. So that's what we're thinking Maybe to get only 160 to go. It's not that many to go. It's not that many to go. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's that much. Um, next figure is Nottingham from Witchblade. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be worth much. It doesn't look very good. So let me just show you the figure as well so you can actually see it in detail. So we, we have got Nottingham. Um, Hey, tea cakes. I can never find figures. I don't know their names. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. This is just something that, you know, this was just a cool job lot. Um, so, yeah. There we go. Witchblade. Nottingham from Witchblade. Sculpted by someone as well. Um, and they've got some other characters and they're all a bit nudie. I don't think this will be worth much because it just doesn't look it. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Sadie says 160. Yeah, I wish. I wish. Um, let's just let's go and do some research then guys let's go and uh, transition you back and we're going to type in Nottingham Ooh. Uh, Notting oh damn you why aren't you working here you go. Uh, Nottingham from switch uh, blade figure um, yeah 10 pounds probably I'd say well, apparently, is that right? Did really no one sell one? No results found. Um, 
Okay. I'm guessing it's a really sought after figure. <laughs> this is going really well. Oh, you meant 160 to go. Okay, I can't. That one is. Okay, there you go. Someone's trying to find, get five pounds for one, unboxed. Someone's got 18 pounds, but they've not sold theirs. They've even put it on sale. Someone's put 15. Someone's trying 22. So yeah, I don't think this is going to be. It's not rare. It's just not good. Um, Robin Hood. I, yeah, this is a naff one. We'll, we'll put this down as like a fiver or something. Oh, is it Witchblade, not Switchblade? Okay. Is it Witchblade? Not Switchblade. It still won't have gone for... Okay, £10. Someone got £10 plus shipping. Alright, we'll go for £10. Yeah, it's a £10 figure. There we go. So, uh, Witchblade. Witchblade. Uh, uh, Nottingham. It's a £10 figure then, really, isn't it? So, okay, we're not, we're, no, we're, we're not going to take forever, honestly. We're going to zip through these as quickly as we can, honest to God, honestly. Um, next, I'm just grabbing them as we go. Um, next one is this um, Twisted Land of Oz from Spawn. So, um, quite a nice looking figure, actually. It's, it's quite detailed. It's got like... Um, a little geezer and he's got a larger guy both quite menacing so Twisted Land of Oz um, we're looking for um, and we'll see whether that works out um, let's just transition across um, I don't know how many figures I got it was just a couple it was only a couple of boxes two boxes it was two boxes there's not a lot I don't think um, so we're, we're searching for the wizard um, and it's Twisted Land of Oz, um, and we're going to go for figure. I know it's McFarlane toys or anything, but let's just do a search like this. Average sale price is £15, so someone got 20 there with free shipping, 14 someone got 20 well, no, someone had more figures there. Brand new and sealed, Wizard, 11 11 so I'd say 15 is probably going to be a good a, a good um a good price for it maybe uh yeah yeah we'll go 13 we'll put we'll, we'll go for i think we can go for 15 i don't know let's let's also look on the site and see let's see how many are listed at the moment as well you never know if there's like a lot listed then okay yeah so someone's had one up for 18 and accepted an offer so there we go currently See, this is the thing. Um, sometimes it's worth looking at what's available at the moment in terms of um, price as well. So, no worries, MM Antiques. Thanks for popping in. Um, it's better than going through RZ bars. Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah, I think because there's not many listed, we might put it up for 20. But I think realistically, 15 is probably going to be the price for it, I think. Um, so, we're going to do the wizard uh, land of Oz figure well, we're gonna go for 15 on that just to be kind of you know like realistic and stuff so we'll see um and that's if these actually sell you know so that's the thing you know we've got to make make we've got to check if these sell as well um 135 to go um Next item is this Justice League Cheetah Collector's action figure uh, from DC Direct. Um, yeah, she's a um, pretty cool looking action figure. It's like a woman dressed as a che angry cheetah. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll, we will see what we can find for this. Um, 13 pounds was my guess. I know nothing about toys. I, I neither do I, to be honest. Will you charge flat shipping or free for figures? Says myself. Probably charge shipping. Like we'll, we'll probably charge like shipping for it, to be honest. Um, so you know, Justice League. Oh, I need to transition across. So Justice League, um, cheetah uh, figure. So, yeah, series one. Put series one in, okay? Series one. And average price is thirteen pounds. 
Um, there we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Someone got 23. Is that right? Is that correct? If that's correct, that's pretty cool. Let's go and have a look on the normal site as well. Um, this might be something half decent. No worries, Peter. Got to have dinner before you're live. That's fine. Cool. Um, 26 pound. Uh, uh, so there's only like a couple available. Well, when I say a couple, there's a buttload available. But two available from here. Let's go to sold listings and we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, someone did get 23 pounds with shipping. Um, well, it, it, that was sold in the US though. And some of the auction didn't get much. I, we could go for 15 on this again just to play it safe maybe. Just to, you know, just to keep... keep the, so I'm not overdoing the figures as it were. I'd say 15 would be a safe price for that maybe. I think so. Uh, probably will get more. If I put it up for 20, I don't know, but we'll see. Cheetah JL fig, um, and that is going to be for fifteen as well. That's pretty cool. Um, next figure. This is quite a, a cool looking guy. Check this out. Looks like twenty five best offer. Yeah, could could well be, but I want to I want to play it super safe with the prices so that I know like worst case scenario what I'll be able to get for it. Um, so this is another Justice League figure, and this guy is Sinestro, and he's it looks like he's purple. And he's got like a really giant forehead. Um, I don't know. That's that's his power, maybe. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, you can see there's damage to the box, so that will maybe affect the price because the box has got a damage in the the plastic there. But you know, we'll see what what it's worth. Um, so if we do Justice League and then we just change their name from Cheetah, we can change it to Sinistra. Um, see you later, Ruthie. Um, oh, Justice League uh, Sinestro. I don't know why I cancelled the Series 1 thing. Uh, search. Um, and again, £10, 20 uh, Someone got 24, but their box would have probably been in better condition. So let's just pop it into eBay search. I just think eBay search looks nicer. Okay, 779, brand new. Yeah, I'll be lucky to maybe get a tenner then because mine's got damage to the box, I guess. That one at auction, oh, that was a Batman. So one went at 14 plus shipping. Yeah, I'm going to go for like a tenner on this one because just, you know, just to play it safe. Okay, no home runs yet then. I don't know if there's anything. I honestly don't know if, if there is anything amazing in here. I went on this kind of as a gut feeling. and I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to kind of take a chance and see what happens. Um, can't you copy paste the title straight into the spreadsheet? Um, that's a good point. That's a good point. I can, Kelly. I just didn't think of it. Um, hey, Nadine. Um, he looks a bit like me when I've been out in the sun too long, says Peter. Um, Marcella says, catch me up. All these figures were picked up in a lot. Yeah, they were from a job lot at auction. Um, so, yeah. Um, right, moving on. So, this is something from a show called Gargoyles. I think I vaguely remember this when I was a kid. Um, I vaguely remember it, though. So, it's quite old, I'm guessing. Hardwired Broadway. Okay. Um... Gargoyles by Kenner 1996 so we will see whether this brings in anything um, so hard wired uh, Broadway Broadway Gargoyles figure okay oh let me just see what the res results bring up. Um, job lot auction, yeah. <laughs> how is he? How is he going? Hey, Jord, it's okay. It's okay. I don't use spreadsheets. So I don't know. No, but you're right. Um, no, it's not. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. I think we're looking at about average selling price of thirteen pounds there. Um, but again, I like looking at it on the actual eBay site. We'll do it on. I know Terapeak is part of the eBay site. Well, someone took an offer from 25, and that sold on the 20th. So what did they actually take? 
Well, there's one there for 13. There's 11. Why is that not showing? That sold on August. I took an offer on 20th of August. Um, why is the August results not showing? So this Terra Peak's a bit rubbish then, isn't it? Huh. I don't like this. If, if it's not going to actually show. Oh, 20th of August. There you go. They accepted 1889. I think that's what they accepted. Yeah, there you go. Free postage. So they got 18 pound. So it's like a 15 pound plus post item then this one. Um, to be safe. I know I'm, I'm going to to be safe. I'm just going to whack it in at 15 pound plus post just to kind of be safe. And I am actually going to copy paste. You're right. The title. There you go. So we're going to go for um, let's make that bigger. We're going for a 15 pounds plus post item. There we go. Um, yeah, eBay search is better. I think I'm not. Uh, I'm going to search eBay because it looks better, and you get you know the the, re the best results come up first as well. So that's not awful. <laughs> that's not awful, but you know we'll we'll, we'll carry on. Um, then we have got um, a Sin City figure. This is Hartigan from Sin City. Uh, so we'll see what he's worth. Hartigan. Uh, Sin City, um, and that is Series One, Series One figure, and that sold. Wow. Okay. Um, one went at auction for six pound fifty plus shipping. Um, five pound. That's at auction. Five pound. Six pound fifty. Okay, so that, oh, that's a big one. That's like an 18-inch figure, that one. That's why that went for more money. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if this would be worth a great deal then. I think maybe it's like a tenner plus shipping. Um, maybe this is a £10 plus shipping item. Everyone's done them at auction, though. It's weird. Why has no one actually done this? Um, just, just out of curiosity, we'll put it into... Oh! I haven't even been showing you guys, have I? Okay, um, we're gonna. I'm just gonna put this into Terra Peak quickly. Um, Necker Sin City. One. That's a color version. It's difficult to see, really. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worth a lot. So this is what I've seen. Um, that was a different version, Hartigan figure. That's a different version because that's like in color. That's the figure I've got. So someone got ten pounds. See, this is the thing. Someone got ten pounds plus shipping for a, a used figure, and then people have been auctioning them off and only getting like six pounds. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just do like a tenner plus shipping on this, or maybe fifteen. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll do fifteen. Um, do you think these are a random collection or someone's personal collection? I don't know, Kelly. Um, I, I don't know. I think it it could just be. It could even be a dealer's collection, you know, because um, nothing has stuck out as amazing yet. You know, like we've not come across anything that's truly great. So it could well just be a dealer that's decided um, he wanted to just get rid. So that's like a tenner plus shipping, I guess. Um, right, we're gonna we're gonna have to get a move on with these, I think, because I don't want to hold you guys forever. <laughs> Wow, this is pretty cool. Um, again, it doesn't look like it's going to be worth much, but just because of its how <laughs> dodgy it looks. It's by Kenner. This is a Terminator 2 secret weapon Terminator with hidden chest cannon figure. Wow, um, <laughs> that is pretty cool. So I, I it would be interesting to see whether this has any value. So um, you know, just have a look at that, guys. Just get a good look at Arnie there, hidden chest cannon. So it's Kenner, and it's from 1992. So, you know, it could be it could be something. Um, yeah, dealer clearing. Uh, yeah, dealer clearing stock definitely is what it feels like. Uh, Terminator 2. Uh, ooh, good if I could actually do it there. Um, how many you got, Z? Sorry if you've already said. Um, I don't know. It's, there's there's a fair few on the floor. There's a, there's a fair few. <laughs> this might be a long. This might be a long uh, video. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. But it was only two boxes, but it, they seem to have packed a lot in there. Terminator 2 uh, secret 
weapon uh, t figure. We'll, we'll put secret weapon figure and see what comes up. Okay, there you go. A bit disappointing, really. Someone at auction got 1168. Um, 1168 plus shipping. Hmm. Yeah, and, and on their own, they don't go for much. Like, someone got... Oh, people do them at auction for some reason. I, why am I not finding buy it nows anymore? It's really strange. I'm getting, like, a lot of auction results. 1164 plus shipping at auction. Someone had a lot of three that they sold for 35. Yeah, so it's not, not worth a lot of money. Which is... I don't know how surprising that is, but there we go. It is what it is. So, we're going to go for, like... 12 pounds maybe we'll just call it a tenner we'll just call it a tenner again we're gonna go we're gonna go for the the lowest price and then that way we can kind of just be like you know we're gonna go for a tenner um there's not i don't think there's any star wars in here there's no star wars in here um all right let's go back let's keep pulling these out another gargoyle so this is cold stone so this is another Gargoyles figure. His name is Coldstone. Maybe Coldstone's worth a lot of money. Um, maybe. Maybe. We don't know. Probably won't be, but we'll see. Uh, Gargoyles Coldstone. Let me just quickly transition you across. So we are looking at Gargoyles Coldstone figure. And we've got... Oh, wow. Okay. This is one sold for £31. Um, this one seems to have a little bit of value, a little bit of value. So you can see someone got twenty pounds for a used one. So Coldstone is the first half decent sale, I guess, from this lot. Um, so if someone managed to get thirty-one pounds too, I might go for thirty and or thirty-five, and um, see how it goes. So result, I suppose, that's a first decent result. Um, uh, let's just go back and whack that title in um, and we'll call it 30 just to be safe 30 plus shipping um, Like I said, I want to go on the lower side add it all up um, And then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of work from there. So we'll, we'll work from there. So let's call that 15 straight up um, Yeah, we like this one says TK. Yeah, I'm happy with that one So th just to show you guys this particular one is the first one from the gargoyles figures that we've done so far That is I think we've done one gargoyle figure or, I don't know, I thought, um, Sinestro, Hard, Wide, Broadway, yeah, we've done Broadway, I think, and he was £15, this one's worth about 30 so that's a good one, that was a good one. So, next item, um, this is a Fantastic Four Electric Power Doctor Doom, no, this is from the terrible movie that they created. Um, so you can see the actors from that horrible movie. Um, it was a, it was one of the worst movies I think I've ever seen. Um, yeah, definitely. But this has got a little button on the back you can press, and he lights up. So um, we will see what happens, um, and um, we'll, we'll have a look at the results and and see if this is any good. Electric power, Doctor Doom. So we're gonna go for. Um, Electric power Doctor Doom. Let's just transition you guys back to it. And we're talking fan. Ooh, come on, damn it. Fantastic Four Electric uh, Power Doctor Doom figure. And let's have a look. Um, buy it now, used seven pounds, ten pounds um, used. That's a good, that's a good thing. Um, okay, that's a Marvel Legends one. That's a different kettle of fish. We don't look at Marvel Legends. These are, um, I don't know what these are. These, this is a Toy Biz, um, Toy Biz one, but yeah, seven pounds. I mean, it's not, there's none, no other ones. Let's have a look at completed. Buckle West says, I like that movie, really. I didn't like it. Um... Okay, so someone is selling one or attempting to sell one for twelve pounds plus shipping. So yeah, we'll call this a ten pound item. Oh look, there you go. Someone's got one here for for results matching few. They're trying to get twenty two. Oh there you go. Someone's trying to get ten pound with free postage. Nine pound plus yeah yeah. So this one's not going to be worth a lot. I think we're going to go for a tenner plus shipping on this one. 
10, 10 plus shipping, I think. So let's just copy paste that. I thought that would be a bit of a naff one because the movie wasn't great. Uh, so we'll go for we'll go for 10 on that one if we can. Um, don't forget the price increment for being in packets, says Tea Cake. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, I love Fantastic Four, but the movie was awful. Yeah, I thought the movie was awful as well, Peter. It wasn't wasn't my favorite movie. Okay. Moving on, we've got another Terminator Kenner figure, I think. Yeah, another Terminator Kenner figure. This is Terminator, this is Terminator 2 3D. This is the exploding T-1000 figure. You can see that figure is pretty awesome. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at the exploding T-1000. Um, let me just transition you guys across and we're going to have a look. Uh, exploding hash Meg exploding T 1000 figure I'm hoping that will come up with okay so people are brand new asking 25 20 16 22 so look at some souls shall we okay we've got something that's worth some money well something worth a little bit of money someone got 15 pounds for a used one so I think 20 pounds could work. Um, I, you know, 20 pounds could work, guys. 15 pounds used. Um, and, you know, going back to the, the current listings, someone's trying to get 20. So, yeah, I'd, I'd go for 20, I suppose, and just wait. Um, I suppose you could call that, like, with shipping and everything. We'll call it, like, we'll call it 15. We'll call it 15. Someone got 15 for a... Someone actually got 15 pounds plus shipping for a used one. So, I know ours is new, but, you know, we'll put it as 15. Just to kind of, you know... I just want to make sure that we're we're lowballing our results as much as we can. So that we have a good idea of how much we'll make at the very least. So, we'll call that 15. I think that was a decent pickup. That was a, that was a decent-ish one. 15 pounds. All right. Um, moon. Oh wow, this is this is nice. This looks like it could be worth some money. I don't know. Conan, Fire Dragon by Spawn. Um, it's a very nice looking figure. A little bit of yellowing to the box, I think maybe, or is it just dust? I don't know. It's very dusty. This, but Fire Dragon looks cool. Maybe it's fifteen pounds. I'd say maybe fifteen pounds. Things appealing a little bit, like from from long term storage. So I'll have to explain that in the description. But let's go and have a look at what the Fire Dragon. There's no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sale away, unfortunately. Not that I saw. Not that I saw. But there could well be because I honestly didn't fully look at this. It was an online photo. It was really bad. Conan series one Fire Dragon figure come on be something really expensive okay buy it now 31 pounds someone did one at auction and got 11 obviously someone did one at auction got seven plus shipping but the one person that actually sold one on the 6th of november believe it or not only a week ago got 31 pound plus shipping so we'll go for 25 plus shipping because ours has got the peeling issues um so that's not bad that is not bad at all. So it's got a few peeling issues, like I said, those stickers there. But we're going to, like I said, we're going to play it safe. We're going to lowball everything. I'm going I'm to make sure I lowball everything. Um, and we're going to put, what I'm going to do is we're going to put that into the spreadsheet um, at 25. Just to, you know, just to lowball it, right? Um, hey there, Tommy, how are you? Reask, curious, how often do you decide to post to... Um, another region eBay server because the particular item is more popular there or do or eBay posting cross post on all country servers. Marcella, I use um, I use um, um, Web Interpret, which is a service um, that lists for you um, across sites. Um, so we use that for the RC store. We've not done it for the general store. Um, but you know we do offer international shipping so our items do sell abroad as well so but yeah i think 20 i'm, I'm happy with that last figure so that was a 25 pound figure so a nice little result there um let's 
pick another one out. Now this this is a figure that I saw in the photo, so I know I, I, I look this I, I know these are nice. These always go for decent money. It's a bit crumpled at the bottom because of the long-term storage and it's a bit the plastic's a bit thin. But this is a Marvel Legends figure. These are always quite nice. Very detailed. This is a series three Marvel Legends Thor with 31 points of articulation. You can see that's a really nice figure. So this should be decent. Um, so we will see what we can get for this, shall we? Let's let's pop over to um, the eBay search page and we will go for, um, we're going to call this Thor Series 3 Marvel Legend. And uh, we will have a look at that. And there, there's one that sold for 25. Okay. So not a huge amount of money, but 25. That's not bad. So, and 25 plus shipping. We, we'll just, because of our condition, we might go for just like the 20 pound range. I, I don't know. Like, and again, just to play it safe. I mean, obviously it is coming. We are in Q4 guys, remember? And I'm going to be listing these tonight. So hopefully someone's going to be doing a working hangout. Um, if not, I might do one. Um, but like, yeah, 40, that's very high there, Kelly. But 20, 25 is, is what we're looking at. 25. Uh, so we'll go for 20 plus shipping on that one so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that um lovely figure lots of articulation i really do like um i really do like selling like action figures um they're they're a lot of fun so yeah i, I do like stuff like this so i'm gonna just copy and paste that into the spreadsheet and we are gonna put a 20 20 pound price on it we'll go for 20 okay put 20 and then plus shipping or whatever so that's not bad. We're, we're making a little bit of headway and we've still got some way to go. Um, but thank you for, for joining me, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, Deep Fried Deal says hi. Frankie's fine says it always makes me smile how excited he gets about some of his finds. Uh, yeah, what well, you mean? It's, it's just, yeah, you've got, you've got, you. everyone gets excited about their finds, I'm sure. Okay, next item. This is a Planet of the Apes figure. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Tommy, I do appreciate it, but honestly, there is it, it, it's appreciated as always, but not necessary. Thank you for the ten dollar super chat with the number one fan um, animation thingy, Maji. <laughs> yeah, I do appreciate it. Um, so this is a pretty rough condition. Um, Two thousand and one figure from the Planet of the Apes movie with Mark Wahlberg. So, um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I saw the super chat, um, Peter. Thank you for the super, um, super chat, Tommy. I appreciate it very much. Um, I, yeah, I'm back to two stores. Woo -woo. This is gonna go on. This is all gonna go on the second store. Um, so this is a Planet of the Apes Mark Wahlberg figure. This is by Hasbro. Um, so we're just gonna type in. Uh, yeah, Planet of the Apes. I don't know if to put whether to put Mark Wahlberg in the title or not, but we'll see. But we'll see. All right, let's have a look. Let's see if we can find this. So let's go back to eBay search. Thank you, Tommy. I really do appreciate it. Um, um, so we are talking Planet um, of the Apes 2001 um, movie, and it is Leo Davidson figure. Leo Davidson figure. I should maybe type in Mark Wahlberg as well. Richard Hell says, I have one of these listed at the moment. Okay. All right, it's not worth a lot from what I can see. Someone accepted an offer. They were trying to sell it for a fiver um, plus shipping and they didn't get that. So that's like, yeah, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. Um, seven pounds, seven pounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call it a fiver. I think that one's just going to have to be um, we're gonna have to accept that as a a fiver sale, um, so let's whack that into the spreadsheet too. And at the end of it, I will obviously add all this up. You have to add shipping to all this stuff as well, but th these are just my what prices I'm looking to get sale wise. Um, so yeah, that's that one sorted. Um, hello to everyone that's joined. Uh, Father sunglasses, Myra Elaine, old school picker. Um, all right. 
Next item. Now this looks pretty cool. This is by Tyco. And this is X-Men X-Force. Um, this is a pretty cool Warpath figure. Look at that. That is really old school by Tyco. Um, what's the year on it? Does it actually have a year somewhere? 1993. So it's from 1993. So it'll be interesting to see what we can get for this one. Um, oh, okay, let me just put Mark Wahlberg down. He's, he's taking up some space. I can't afford him to take. Alright, so next guy we are going to have is Warpath um, Tycho figure. We'll keep it as simple, few as keywords as possible. Okay, someone's trying to get £18. Um, I don't know what their condition is like. They've said it's brand new, which is really good. Mine, this does have condition issues. It is crushed around the edges and corners and whatnot. So someone's trying to get 18, but if we actually go to sold listings, um, we will have a look. Um, yeah, not, okay. Yeah, I don't think 15 is reasonable. I don't, 1799, I don't think it's reasonable. Um, I think this 1250 for a, a Professor X. Um, yeah, I think maybe we will get, I mean, there's not many solds. Well, I, I don't think there's any solds there apart from that one there, which is an auction. Um, maybe Warpath just isn't a particularly popular figure. Um, we'll go for another like fiver on that one, maybe. What do you guys reckon? Just go for a fiver, just to keep it safe. Fiver plus shipping. You should be able to sell this for a fiver plus shipping, I reckon, without much effort. But that's kind of um, disappointing because I thought that could be worth some money, um, but clearly not. Sure, it just shows that stuff that looks like it should be worth money like you you might be at the car boot sale and someone might have one of these on the table for a fiver and you might think oh I better grab that it's X-Men X-Force looks really vintage it's worth a fiver uh, Tyco but still still we carry on um, right this one isn't going to be worth much because it has a Deals on Wheels £2.50 sticker on it. So this is like a really small figure. Um, Lost in Space. Um, and it is the... Okay, Lost in Space. What is it? Johnny Lightning. Yeah, I don't know. The Chariot. Okay, Lost in Space, The Chariot. We'll, we'll do a search on it anyway. See what it picks up for us, but I'm not holding my breath for this. It looks like a really kind of cheap toy. There are some better toys to go through as well, but I, I need to get to them. So, uh, Lost in Space, uh, the Chariot, and it is heavyweight metal and plastic. Um, magma. What what brand is this? Um, Playing Mantis. I don't know, playing Mantis. We'll, we'll just Google search it. Okay. Yeah, someone got like £4 plus shipping. Someone got, yeah, £4. I think like, yeah, you're not going to get a great deal for these. Someone got £20 for bundling them up. I think okay, someone took an offer there from, uh, it was on a tenner. Again, maybe it's like a £5 item. Maybe, maybe it's a £5 item. We'll put that in as a fiver, I think, because I think you should be able to get a fiver for it. Um, looking at what we see. So we've gone on a bit of a run of duds, five pound duds, guys. Um, this one I didn't expect much from there, it's just by looking at it. Um, okay, let's carry on. Um, what else have we got here? All right, this looks pretty cool. Marvel Superheroes, Fantastic Four, The Human Torch. Um, and this is a, I don't know what brand this is. Distributed by Kingsley Toy. There's a there's a distribution sticker over the manufacturer. Oh, it's Toy Biz. Toy Biz. There you go. Toy Biz Marvel. And I think you can see there. There's a little sticker with 15 on it. So I'm guessing the dealer was trying to um, sell this for 15 at some point and failed. Maybe at a toy fair or something. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what this one is worth. Probably worth about 15 maybe. I don't know, maybe, but could be a slow seller. And the guy got fed up of it and, and decided that, you know, that was it. So we are going to go for uh, a Toy Biz, uh, Toy Biz, a Human Torch. Um, and it is, um, 
I don't know. Pick and save, proof of purchase, 1990s. I don't know. Where, where's the 1992? We'll do 1992. Oh, yeah, I've got a transition, you guys. There you go. Oh, there you go. £10. £10 sold. Uh, auction at auction. So the last two that I've sold have sold at auction, both for £10, um, which isn't too bad. So if you can get £10 at auction, can I get more? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to... He was trying to get 15 at a fair, and I guess he didn't get 15, because that's what that looks like to me. He, he, you know, if you, if you actually look at it there, he's, there's like a little... You can see there's a little price sticker there. But you can see on eBay, one sold in October at auction for £10 plus shipping and another one sold on the 2nd of November, again, for £10 plus shipping. So I think it's safe to just call it a £10 plus shipping item. Obviously, if I can get more for it, um, then, you know, great. But it's a £10 plus shipping item. So yeah. that is that. Um Thank you for persevering, guys, by the way. I do appreciate it. Um, I can't believe but there's over 100 people watching. There's 118 people watching. So thank you, everybody. Um, we're actually only about 55 subscribers away from hitting 5,000 subscribers. Um, so it, I'm kind of excited about that. Although, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but, you know, it is for me. It is. I am mega excited, guys. Um, right. Next figure. Um... I'm not expecting this one to be worth a huge amount because it's Star Trek. And Star Trek is one of those... Um, thank you, Peter, for popping in. Appreciate it. Star Trek is one of those series that is so over overdone and there's been so much merch uh, made about it that more often than not, if you see any Star Trek stuff, most of it isn't going to be worth a lot. Um... We could be wrong here, but I'm not going to hold my breath. This is by Diamond... Is it Diamond Select? Uh, Diamond Select. And we will see what this brings up. So I've just typed it in for you guys. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 2nd of November. Are you serious? Is this the same one as I've got? Don't, no, it's not, is it? It can't be the same one. Um, Klingon Art Asylum. Uh, okay, what's that? Some exclusive Toys R Us. I don't know. It looks the same. It looks the same to me. Alf, get out of here, please. That looks the same, guys, doesn't it? If that is, then I'm really happy. Is that... Is, that is it, isn't it? Is that £100? <laughs> oh, so that has to be... So so after I've just sat here and said to you guys, this shows how much I know about stuff. So I sit here and I tell you guys, Star Trek has been so overly done. Most of the time it's not worth anything. Um, and it actually happens to be a £100 figure. Man alive. I'm, I'm, I need to get more completed on that. I, I, you've come in at a great time there, um, Lex. It, it, yeah, look, 80, £88.40 there. Um, This can guy is worth money. No gold sticker on yours. I know there's no gold sticker, but that just said Toys R Us exclusive. But I'm guessing if it was a Toys R Us exclusive, so is this, because in every other way it's the same. So I, I could still say that it's a Toys R Us exclusive, couldn't I? Wow, £100 plus £10 shipping. Look, at the moment, there's one for sale, £170. The, the gold sticker says Toys R Us exclusive. I know there's no sticker on mine. Are you guys trying to... on my cornflakes here? Let's have a look at his listing again. Let's have a look at the... we'll have a look at the barcode. He's got a photo of the back. Okay. The barcode reads 699-768-727-324. Oh, yes. Barcode reads 699 no, yeah, 699-788, not 768, 788, 727-324. Yes. There we go. A hundred, no sticker, but the, there's only one listed and it's up for 170. The last one sold at a hundred pounds. So, mwah. thank you, Kang. Um, 
me and Kang were like, we go by way back, guys. I don't know if I said anything bad about Kang. I didn't mean it. Um, he's a good guy, you know? Um, so, wow. What, what, that is a nice one. Um, and let's now whack it into the spreadsheet. We could go, we'll, we'll go for a hundred. Shoot for the moon on this one. Never underestimate a global audience of panicking partners and wifeys at Christmas times as tea cakes. Thank you, Lex. Appreciate it. So, should we go for a hundred on that then? We'll call it a hundred. <laughs> Daddy eating good. I'm having a kebab now, Tommy. And Lex, thank you. I did buy a topic bar. But yeah, hundred pounds. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I'm so happy. You know, you guys... List for 169s on your office is old school figure. Guys, I can't tell you. Let me just show you him again. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Look, look at him. I thought it was... There was me saying, oh, for Star Trek, it's not going to be worth much because Star Trek's been, you know... It shows what I know, guys. £100. I paid. I paid 140 hammer price or 175 including. 175 all in. So this figure alone will get me back the lion's share of the spend. Oh. J. Dennis says, um, remember Z, you are here to make a profit, not store items. So aim for the prices which have actually sold. Yes, J. Dennis. I'm definitely going to do that. Let's hope there's another 10 of them in the box as legs. Wouldn't that be nice? But we're going to go for, a, a, I'm going for a hundred, I'm marking it as a hundred just to kind of play it safe. You know, I'm not going to stick it up from mega high. So I'm guessing that's got to be the gem now. Everything else is going to be a turd, right guys? It has to be. Um, I think that's just life, right? It doesn't, you can't just keep on getting those. Um, just lost 20 pounds from you kissing it, says Ash. Oh, thanks, Ash. <laughs> I thought that would have increased the value, right? You know? Okay, moving on swiftly. We have now got another Sin City figure, and this is Manute, um, the menacing bodyguard type guy. He's got his two guns and everything, so... So, this is a figure by, um, is this McFarlane or Necker? I don't know. It's Necker. So, this is a Necker figure. So, we're going to quickly go in and search um, this guy out as well. So, let me just transition back. Wow. I, I'm so happy that I found that. I'm just so happy. Um, that has really cheered me up. Um, Sin City Necker uh, Manute. Um, and is that a series one probably? Um, okay. Ooh, yeah, back down to earth with a crash. Um, yeah, not worth a lot from what I can tell. But again, these are auction type prices. Five pounds at auction, six pounds at auction. Buy it now, maybe a tenner would be fair. What do you guys reckon? Ten pounds would be fair on that, I reckon. Um... Well done, Z. You deserve good karma, says Grantly. Thank you, Grantly. Um, Tommy says, I feel the same about Star Trek, to be fair. I've had bad luck. Good to know there are some good ones out there. Definitely. FNS Resellers says, this is great. And Marcella says, just have Alf lick off the Z cooties. Bring back the value. Thank you, Marcella. Um, I was late. Were these all what he found in when he fell in the bins? No, Tommy. I didn't fall in the bins as much as you'd love to, to believe that. Um, these were from an auction. I, I decided to buy an auction today. It's been the first time in ages. Um, but I reckon this is going to be a tenner, to be honest with you. Uh, ten, a tenner at best. So let's just go put that into the spreadsheet at ten. Um, yeah, ten pounds on that one. So a lot of these are going to be really low value, 10, 10, 10. A couple of nice ones in the 15, 20s. And then we've got that juicy Kang guy. He, he is really, um, he, he, you know, he's he's my bro now. He's he's amazing. Thank Kang. Um, right, so we've put that one away. Moving on. Now this looks pretty cool-ish. This is Creeper. I, I don't know how much it'd be worth though. This is a Batman figure from the animated series, I think. It looks like the old animated series that I used to love when I was a kid. I don't know if it's that one or not. Um, it looks too new or in too good a condition to be for that. Um, and also it is... Okay, Creeper, insert projectile, da da da, -da. Um, Batman official licensed product made in China. 
by Giochi Prezioso or something. We'll, we'll just call it Batman Creeper figure because I don't know what else to call him. Oh, it's by Kenner. It's got by Kenner. It says Kenner. Um, now let's see what this one is worth. Let's just transition you guys across um, and type in Batman Creeper uh, figure. That's uh, by Kenner. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. £14 um, one bid plus shipping. So £14, I mean, like, if that's the, the go, that's sold in October at auction. Um, looking at some of the other prices, I think he did really well. Because if you look at the other prices, they're all international and they haven't done so well. So I think if I went for like, I don't know, £14 or, or £10, I don't know, what should I do? 10 or 14 14 you got an auction though maybe i'll go for like maybe i'll go for like 12 on that 12 plus shipping so it's like 15 pounds all in right i think that might be the option for this one so let's just whack that into the spreadsheet too um and i said we'll go for like 12 plus shipping on that one because i think it, it that will probably bring that in so yeah um let me put him down um Right, this is going well. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. There's still a few things to go through, but, you know, we'll, we'll work our way through it. This is a vintage-looking Iron Man, um, like, character from Poundland. I just saw that. A Poundland Iron Man figure. Is that even real? That's not even real, is it? He's trying to get a fiver for it. He's bought it from Poundland. Poundland. <laughs> what? Whirlwind. Okay. I mean, how is that even a thing? Is that, like, is that even legal? Is, is that got any... Does that say Marvel anywhere? Collect them all, Fantastic Four. Not suitable for children. Okay. Does it have anything that says it's official in any way? Poundland Iron Man World. <laughs> that can't be worth anything. Okay, this one I've not got any kind of hopes for, guys. Because, it, it, as you can see, it says Poundland on it. I didn't realise that Poundland did Iron Man figures. Um, hey guys, it's here from the shed selling Batman figures, says Eric. <laughs> no, we, we know who the master of that is. Um... <laughs> FNS Sellers says, got to go print some FBA labels, but can't bear to miss something, so he's taking you with me. Got to be worth a pound then. <laughs> Found a turd right there, says mine. I, I know, it, let's have a look. Let's. This has got to be a turd, hasn't it, really? Do people put Poundland in the title? Let me see. Poundland Iron Man Was it Whirlwind figure? It looks old, though, but, you know, it, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, toy, uh, they're saying, like, toy biz and stuff. I can't see any manufacturer. I mean, I can't see, there's there's no manufacturer here. I'm just going to put in Poundland Whirlwind figure. <laughs> I don't think Whirlwind make these figures. Yeah, this one... I, <laughs> Well, oh, there, there you go. Someone got an auction, five pounds fifty, but he's called he's called it a. So this is interesting. He's got the same figure as me, but his has got Toy Biz stamped all over it. Mine hasn't. So he got five pounds. So yeah, that 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 is just a duff. <laughs> Poundland exclusive, come with free. Yeah, Kang rules. Yeah, I'm not even sure I want to list this because it doesn't even... It looks identical, but because of its Poundland kind of situation and it's got no manufacturer anywhere, um, I think I might just have to keep that one, I suppose. Um, I mean, I, I think we're going to have to put that as a zero. We're not going to put that in on the spreadsheet at all. I don't, I don't think that's worth risking, like you guys said. Moving on. Okay, so this is a Mars Attacks um, software included in a three and a half inch floppy disk. It's got cobwebs on it, as you can see, and he was asking fifteen pounds. And um, this is a Sadama um, Mars Attacks figure. 
this could be worth some money. I, 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 I don't know if it is, but we will, we will definitely endeavor to find out because, you know, that's what we're doing here, right? <laughs> Pricing up action figures. Um, so this could be something because Mars Attacks is a bit of a cult movie. It's a, it's a really funny movie. If you haven't seen it, Mars Attacks, um, said, how do they spell it? Do they actually spell it like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, 10.99. Okay, not a huge amount of money there. Um, oh, wow. So you want the Martian commander figure from 2012. 81 pound at auction, 14 pound. Um, super flex. But it, I don't know, super flex action figure. Should we call that a super flex? I don't know. Sadama went for 10.99. I'm guessing that's all it's worth. 10.99. Yeah, there you go. 12 pound, 10.99. So that's a 10 pound, 10 pound item. Um, 10 pound item. Simple as that. I'm not going to mess around with this. Um, it is what it is. So we're going to put Sadama in. Um, from Mars. I thought that could be worth some money because it's Mars attacks, but you know, um, clearly it's not worth it. It's only worth a tenner. So, uh, yeah, you know, we can live with a tenner, right? It's not, not the end of the world. Um, just saw your thumbnail with your head in your hand, says Dave. Really? Save the fails for a bundle, says Tea Cakes. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, moving on. Okay, now this looks like a really cool figure. This is a DC um, Direct um, Identity Crisis. Series one identity crisis green arrow. That is a nice looking figure. I don't I think I would expect 10 pound plus on this one um, We will find out. I'll, let me just type it in Identity crisis green arrow figure All Right, let's just transition you across. So I've just typed it in now. Let's do a search Okay not worth a lot. Fifteen pounds with free shipping. Twelve pound plus shipping. Let's have a look at the solds. Um, and we have got fifteen pounds, ten pounds. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think that sold at fifteen. Um, that was a used one. Um, I think this guy's on the money. He's asking fifteen pounds with free shipping. Um, we will go for a tenner plus shipping just to keep the just to kind of you know keep our um what's it called T to lowball ourselves so i i'm not over egging my figures uh, so i have a good idea we're gonna go for a tenner plus shipping. i thought that would be worth a little bit more guys shows what i know um z you need to say this isn't going to be worth anything before you look it up i think it's a lucky charm <laughs> say i thought 30 um <laughs> you can write the stock code on top in the dust i know it's really dusty it's, it's horrifically dusty this stuff well, we've, we're getting there. We, I can see an end to the figures-ish. Um, but that worries me a little bit because there's meant to be something in here. Oh, I can't seem to find it. Is it in mm -mm -mm. Oh, man. You know what? I think it's probably in the car what I've dropped. I think I've dropped a figure in the car somewhere, but anyway, we'll deal with it later. We'll deal with it later. Another Sin City figure. I'm not sure how many figures came in the lot, but so far we have researched 22 of them. So we're on 23. There's 24 in total we've seen, but one of them I'm not even putting on the spreadsheet because it was a Poundland figure. I'm not sure what it's worth. Um, a lot of these are not adding the brand new inbox tag, says Jay Dennis. Okay. Um, I just bagged and boarded some Mars, uh, Bar Mars Attacks Tops comic book, says Eric Liddy. Um, and JD says you can write the stock code in top of the desk. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. So how much are we at total? I've not added it all up yet. Um, MM Antiques. I'll do that right at the end. But this is a shaft figure. This might be worth some money because it looks very nice. This is, um, Movie Maniacs 3 shaft figure from McFarlane Toys. Really nice looking figure, actually. Really nice looking fi figure. A excellent, excellent figure. So, I don't know what it's going to be worth. 
probably not much now that I've said that it's really nice. Um, so we'll see what we can bring. Um, Z, I'm eating gummy bears whole. Exactly, Lex. That's the only way to eat them whole. Um, all right, McFarlane toys shaft. I'm gonna actually have to list all of this later as well. Okay, not not a huge amount of money. Twenty pounds with free shipping. Twenty five, sixteen plus shipping. Okay, I mean I can live with that. Auctions they've not done well. Thirteen. Mm, I think we'll go for fifteen. I think it deserves to be sold at fifteen. You know, I'd say fifteen plus shipping would be a good buy for someone. Twenty including shipping. So I'd say fifteen plus shipping is a good price. What do you guys reckon? I think so. That's what I'm gonna go for on that one. I would have thought it'd be worth more though. I'm a bit disappointed. Um, because it's a nice figure, you know. Um, did I say fifteen? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go for fifteen. Just to under underplay it. New in box, fifteen pounds plus shipping. I'm I'm happy with that. So, just have a, one one last look. Really nice figure actually. Shaft. Really nice box packaging. The stand it comes with very detailed. I like it. It's a shame. It is a crying shame. Shaft goes away. Now we move on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> That's not even that's just <laughs> that's <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um that has to be the crappiest looking figure. I've ever seen in my life. This is Robin Hood with twisting head and waist, moving arms and legs by Globo. Um, it's literally got nothing written on the back. It's just plain card. The, the, it looks horrific. He looks like he's had a spray tan and he's he's covered in some like green cloth. Th yeah, th this has to be worth nothing. Um, absolutely nothing. And in fact, I, I'm sure of it because the guy's got like a five pound like thing on it so I'm, I'm just gonna do it for the for the for the um SNG on this uh Robin Hood it's just such a bad figure Globo I can't believe I'm even searching it I know it's not worth anything okay you literally nothing has turned up like you can't even see anything yeah it's not even what yeah it's not even a thing this is this is something you get a, a you know like when you are a news agent, um, <laughs> when you're a news agent, and 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 they they used to have toys. That's that's what that is. So that can you know what that and um, fake Iron Man whirlwind Poundland exclusive can go hang out together. Okay, now this is cool, the Riddler Batman and Robin. Um, Batman and Robin duo the Riddler um, yeah that looks pretty cool let's do a little research on this one um, <laughs> Batman and Robin uh, duo Riddler figure alright let me just transition you across and we will press the search button together and we will see what happens um, okay, that's not it. Um, someone got like six pound at auction for something. That's n n so one of these hasn't sold recently. Someone's asking for fifteen. Someone's trying to get nine pounds on sale. Eight pounds. Yeah. Okay. We're, I think this is a max. I, I think being generous, this would be like a ten pound figure, maybe. I think being generous, that's like a ten pound figure. Um, I, I'd say more likely it's going to be less. Uh, one hasn't sold recently though. Um, similar figure there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go for like. We're gonna put this down for like. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put that down for like five pound plus shipping. Okay, just five pound because I I don't want to overdo it. It's worth more than a fiver, I think. It, it's a nice figure. Worth more than a fiver. Actually, I'm 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 up it to seven. We'll, go, we'll give it seven plus shipping. There you go. All right. Um, moving on. Terminator 3D Battle Ready Terminator. Um, so let's have a look at this guy. Um, got any nephew nieces for Christmas presents? That will get rid of the weird one, says Dave. Yeah, they wouldn't want those, Dave. Um, 
hey pleasant valley this was an auction um this was an auction job lot i bought so terminator 2 3d uh, battle ready terminator with duo swing down cannons so we will see what he brings um ages four and up um made by kenna so kenna battle ready battle ready terminate terminate is it an or yeah an or okay let's just transition you across and let's see what we can get um Lex says £38 on that Robin Hood figure. No, it's not. I, I, I looked for it. I couldn't find it. Okay, this could be worth some money because, look, a used one sold for £15, guys. I've got a new one. So if he got Battle Ready Terminator 1999 Kenner for 15 what do you think? And, and Lex, are you serious? You're taking the mick. That's not 38 quid on that Robin Hood figure. Where, where did you see it? It wasn't 38. You're taking the mick out of me. Okay, but this is worth some money. This sold for 15 used. Um, so, I'm, I'm guessing it will sell for more in a packet. Um, oh, there you go. Someone's trying to sell it for 19 and they're not selling it. Someone's trying to sell it for 35. And then someone's trying to sell it for 82. Someone's for 25. So we'll call it 15. Ha, <laughs> jokes. I thought so. I think this one is maybe like a 15 pound job. What do you guys reckon? I mean, the thing is, it's annoying to sell it for 15 when someone has gotten 15 at auction for a used one. Um, I'm just going to, but I'm going to accept it. I'm going to call it 15. I'm not going to waste time on it and, and, and you know, dilly dally. So we're, we're going to call it a 15. It's a comfortable 15 plus shipping. You're not. No, you're not, Lex. You're not. It was worth the joke. It was a good joke. Okay, uh, let's go back to the main screen. So, yeah, so that's £15. I thought it'd be worth a bit more, but £15 on shipping. I appreciate the humour, Lex. You're more than welcome to make jokes like that. Oh, wow. Look, we've got an official Robin Hood Prince of Thieves Friar Tuck. Let's see what he's worth. Okay. Um... Friar Tuck Kenner. Okay, let's have a look at what Friar Tuck Kenner brings up, guys. There we go. We're going to press the search button. And Friar Tuck Kenner. Friar Tuck Kenner is not what. Okay. He's not worth much. 389 plus shipping. 11. Oh, someone got 12 pounds. I don't know. Maybe it's worth something. At current prices are all over the place. You've got someone trying to get 25, someone trying to get 40, 15. Um, I'd say on current prices, I'd be lucky to get a tenner. So maybe we'll go for like eight plus shipping on this one. So we will go for Friar Tuck Kenner. We'll go for eight pounds on that one, maybe. Plus shipping. All these prices I'm putting in are, are going to be like plus shipping. Um, so far, we've what, got 26 figures. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. We will move on swiftly. So this is Robocop Ultra and the Ultra Police Headhunter. Okay, I've not seen this. Looks pretty old. It's Kenner. Um, Robocop Headhunter. Okay, Headhunter Kenner figure. We'll, we'll type in. We'll, we'll just go for that. Headhunter uh, Kenner. Okay, we'll call it Headhunter. We'll call it Robocop as well. We'll put Robocop Headhunter Kenner. So let's transition you across. Let's do the search and see what this goes for. Okay, now I know that's not going to work. Um, okay. It's graded. Someone's grading it. Oh, sorry, honey. Beck can't undo the hot water bottle when I do it. So I'm just, bear with me, guys. You know what, honey? Did you see the stream? Are you watching? Did you see? Kang is a boy. There you go. Say hi to the stream. Say hi at least. Hi. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Robocop. So, um, 125 is obviously like not gonna happen. Um, and yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what it's worth, but 120. Yeah, look, someone took an offer at 779 in September. I mean, that guy's just made up a price. I'm guessing. Let's have a look at this guy's shop. See if he's like a get a toy, vintage toy store. He's called. So, yeah, I mean that's a bit. He's is graded though. Is it like in the? Oh yeah, he's he. So he's uh, he's charging money because he's got his graded. Um. It's not worth grading these things. I mean, I, I, yeah. Grading is when you send... There are companies out there that will slab... Um, slab. They will slab your game toy um, trading card into a plastic case. Put a number on it and it apparently can increase value. It works in some situations. So if you're into Magic the Gathering and all that kind of stuff... Uh, then yeah, but I don't think it's gonna help. I think we're looking at maybe a it's pretty old So I'd go for maybe 15 maybe 15 or should we go for 10? I Mean like no one's buying that one for 10. It's not like it's not like they're flying out, you know, like Yeah, I I, I think we're gonna go for I'm gonna go for 10 10 pound on that one 10 pound on that one. I think I think that's uh, uh, that's optimistic um, yes, tea cakes. You're right. It can be, but it can add value. All right, we're going to have, we're going to go for eight on that because I don't I don't even think it's all that in the bag of chips. Eight. All right. Okay. Um. Nineteen eighty three. Okay, he was looking for ten for this glamour. Art 816 Ragazzi, so this is like Italian or something and it's Yana um, So she's like a mo in, a, in a swimsuit um, I suppose we we'll just put Ragazzi glamour and we'll type we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at what happens um, Ragazzi glamour Okay, let's just do a Google search for uh, an eBay search for Ragazzi Glamour. Oops, that's. Uh, we'll put figure in the title, shall we? Because. Um, yeah, I don't know. This isn't helping, so I don't know. He was asking ten, and it says nineteen eighty-three. Um, licensed by Kenner Products. I don't know. It could be worth some money. I don't know. Harbert. Let's type in Harbert as well. See if that changes anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're not worth a lot. There you go. This person had like auction 1450 for four, three of them, but that was auction. Um, I don't know. Wow, look at that. Someone made an offer on his slabbed something or other. But yeah, I don't know. But um, Fiverr maybe. Fiverr plus shipping, we'll, we'll go for Fiverr. I don't know. We'll, we'll go for a Fiverr on that one. I'll, I'll I will look into it, but I think it's a Fiverr plus shipping job that one. Um, <laughs> Stu says definitely worth a thumbs up. <laughs> um, there's more. There's more. I th this one's just in a towel. You know, she's just in a towel. Danny, her name is. Um. Let's try pin Danny and see if that comes up with any anything. Maybe Danny's worth a lot. No, Danny was bundled, I think. Maybe. Fiverr. I think I'm just going to go for Fiverr again on these. Uh, I think this might be a bundle. You know, so, we'll, we'll, you know, five pounds each. I mean, if they went at 15 at auction, then, you know, glamour. Um, and I have any more of those? I don't think I do. Not those. Um, so we've now got... We're getting to the end now, guys. We're getting to the end. So thank you for the patience. Are all the boys slapping their Glamour Girls figures? I don't think so. Um, so here we've got the Uncanny X-Men X-Force GW Bridge. Yeah, I can't see him being worth a great deal either. Um, yeah, I just can't see it, to be honest with you. Toy biz um, item number four nine five five. So we'll, we'll just type that in. Toy biz four nine five five. 
and we'll have a look at what it comes up with um, and the name is G W bridge um, GW bridge someone took an offer I, I'd say like okay, someone took an offer who had it up at 699 maybe we'll just go for a tenner on this one because I think that might be uh, doable on this figure yeah, that's about right I'm trying to zip through these if I can um, and then Okay, Legends of Batman, Action Masters, Diecast, Collectibles. Wow, I mean, there's a, <laughs> there. This is a, a just a Diecast Batman figure by Kenner. Um, let's just get you back into the other screen. Um, very small figure, so Kenner um, Diecast um, Legends of Batman. Of Batman and let's have a look whether that comes up with anything of value yeah okay no value there four pounds something plus shipping mm, I'm not even gonna put that in um, if I find something else I'll show you because I'm getting a bit like I'm, I'm this is getting quite a long stream now I think we've been streaming for over an hour and a bit um, and then I've got a bunch of these um, I know for a fact I've dropped something in the car. Well, I'm hoping it's drops in the car. But anyway, um, I got a bunch of these as well. These are GI Joe Hall of Fame outfits for um, GI Joe. I, I'm your GI Joe figure. Um, he had these all priced up at a five or each. So there's a possible bundle there, but I uh, I think there's duplication. So it won't be a bundle, but it'll be a multi quantity listing for me. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four of this one. Okay, so I've got I've got four um, marine island gear. Okay, marine Paris island gear. So if we type that into to Google and we'll see what those are worth. Um, let's have a look. Hey, flipping particles. Hey, D. How are you? Will there be a graph? Hey, Rod. I don't know. Um, but let me just see what this is going to do for us. Um, I'm not sure. G.I. Joe. Um, Marine. Uh, Paris. Island. Gear. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's actually not bad. That is not bad. Um, <laughs> that, that, that is not bad. Um, sixteen ninety five. Someone got for one in August, though. So you know, someone else got a fiver plus shipping. Um, but we've got like one, two. We got four of those. Um, so you know, that's not bad. Sixteen ninety five. There you go. Someone. Yeah, they're all. So the cheapest one at the moment for sale is fifteen pounds. With free shipping, so I'm guessing like they're not selling very fast. They're going to be slow sellers, I'm guessing, unless you price them cheaply. So we could do a tenner maybe and see if we can snag some sales at a tenner. So I think that's worth listing, definitely. So um, that's going to be like we'll do tenner, um, but but no, that's like forty, isn't it? Because it's like four of them. So we'll we'll go for yeah. That's a good item, Plasma Alley. Hi, hey Tracy, how are you? Oh gosh. Um, and then we've got two of these Hall of Fame Naval Shore um, get patrol gears. One of them's the plastic is yellowed. The other one is fine. Um, so I don't know what that's going to be worth, but let's just have a quick look. Um, uh, Lord Ahab says hi as well. Um... <laughs> Lord Ahab says, list the ones over 20 and put the rest back through Warren Wignall. Otherwise, it's a lot of work. Yes, these were from Warren and Wignall. That's right. Um, stay live, working hangout, says D. I was going to do one, but don't have to if you stay on live. No, D, I'm, it'll be better for you to do it, and then I'll go on to yours. 
and, and work because I want to eat something. I haven't had my kebab yet. Um, so this is the Navy Shore Patrol. So we're going to go over and... So that was a good one, though. So let's go to Navy Shore Patrol. Um, uh, okay. Navy Shore Patrol. There we go. Um, not as much. Well, 17, 5, 7. So a bit everywhere. Maybe we'll go for a tenner again. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go for a tenner again. But one of them's a bit yellowed. So we'll go for like... Instead of putting them through as 20... Yeah. We, we, no, what I'll do is... Tenner each. I think the tenner. Because you can explain the yellowing to the case, can't you? So that's worth 20 quid in, plus shipping. Um, that's not too terrible. Um, what else is left? Credit card racers. That that reminds me of something. Credit card racers. 1981 Mego Group. That looks pretty cool. I don't know if that's going to be worth anything, but it looks pretty cool. Um, credit card racers. That looks really cool. Let's see if this is worth anything. I'm excited about this one. It might not be worth anything, though. Knowing my luck. Um, yeah, not worth anything. £11.68 he's trying to get, plus shipping. Um, let's go for solds. Do, 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 do. Um, well, there's not much out there. I mean, it, it, there's no reason to not put it on for a tenner, maybe. Um, yeah, he's trying to get 10, 14. Yeah, I'll, I think you could ask a tenner, because I, I remember this Mego Corp. Credit card races, that sounds pretty cool. I, I think that's worth a tenner, maybe. Stu says I remember. Someone will want that for a tenner. Um, credit card race, I'll put that for as a tenner, I reckon. Plus shipping. Someone will buy it at some point. Um, I think that's a fair, because that's quite a nice little item, actually. Um, let's put that down as well. Man, so much. I'm going to have to put all this away. Okay. And, okay, Johnny Lightning... Okay, this isn't going to be worth anything, surely. This is a Johnny Lightning Camaro collection. Um, 1969 Coppo Camaro. Yeah, that's not going to be worth anything. Um, because it looks like it's from some some cheap thing. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. Johnny Lightning Camaro. We'll, we'll, we'll type it in anyway. We'll see what happens. Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, uh, um, uh, um, Camaro collection. Johnny Lightning Camaro Collection Collection Um uh, yeah okay seven pound plus shipping we'll we'll call it like a fiver maybe let's see what the solds are if anyone's actually sold yeah fiver someone got twenty for one wow why has that one got twenty and they put it through as auction okay and fiver 20, 10. Maybe I can get a tenner. In the UK, they seem to go okay at auction. I'll put this through maybe as... We'll play safe and we'll put it through as eight, maybe. What do you reckon? Put it through as eight plus shipping. Nice, easy thing to ship. To ship. So, we have so far priced 34 items. Um, hey, Deep Fried Deals, I paid £175, including the hammer price. It would have been cheaper if I'd bid in person, because I would have saved 7%. Um, because you bid online, they charge you an extra 7%. Um, but I I didn't, I wasn't able to be there live. Although, in the future, I would love to go live and, and do it there. Oh my god! Oh my god! I knew there was more stuff, but there's like a whole... There was a box of stuff here. Okay, um, this looks a bit messed up, but this is a um, 2000 AD Durham Red figure, so we'll price it up. And that's where the other stuff is that I was looking for as well, I think. Okay, let's do this, 2000 AD. I think I've done well out of this, 2000 AD Durham Red, and that is not worth a great deal. Nine pounds. Well, someone got okay. That was just like a book. Someone got seven ninety seven for a really good condition one at auction. Um, nine pounds. Someone trying to get twelve. Yeah, that's a five pound figure. That's not worth much then. Um, I think. 
Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be lucky to get five or six pounds. We'll, we'll just put that through as like a five pound plus shipping figure. Um, it's still a five pound plus shipping figure. It's all, it's all profit. So we'll take that. Forgot about this box. Um, okay, another gargoyle. Xanatos from the gargoyle series. Another gargoyle thing. Um, all right, let me show you guys. His gargoyles. Uh, we found a couple of gargoyle figures so far. One of them was actually a decent one. I got like, um, I think one of them could be worth a little bit of cash, like 30 odd pounds. So this one is good. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's have a look. Um, gargoyles uh, Xanatos. Uh, what is it? Xanatos. Zan. Oh, yeah, I put the A after the fact, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Xanatos. All right, let's have a look at Gargoyle Xanatos. Um, Lord Abe says some gold in that auction sold for less than scrap. If you know what you're doing, you can do well. I unfortunately don't have enough information or knowledge to mess with half the stuff that was sold, which is a bit of a shame. Um, right, okay. This is kind of interesting because I can't see this particular Xanatos um, hardwired Xanatos. I can't see him. Um, people have sold the other one. Okay, that one, That's the one I had, but that was pre-owned, so that doesn't really count. Um, oh, there you go. 23. Someone took an offer at 20. I think I should be able to get 20 for that then. Xanatos should be worth about 20, I reckon. Good old Xanatos. Wow, someone's trying to get 100. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, someone's asking for 52. Wow. It's kind of rare. I, we'll, we'll play it safe and we'll go for we'll go for 20 plus shipping or 25 maybe. But I'll, I'll go for 20 because, like I said, I'm trying to get low. I'm getting my worst case scenario. So, um, there we go. Um, Z, can we get a video? Um on these kebabs you're always eating. Deep fried deals, I'm not sure you'd enjoy watching me eat a kebab, honestly. It's not a pretty sight. Um, I think I know the surprise figure he's saving for last. The whole reason he bought the lot, it's the KFC Colonel, says Eric. No, it's not. I don't even have that. Um, well, some stuff always goes for a lot of money and some for cheap. I, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I saw some stuff go for crazy money at this auction. I just didn't, I didn't even know why. Like, the thing that really stuck out in my head was um, there was some um, Bakelite necklaces and they went for, like, insane money. Uh, there was loads of stuff that went for crazy money at that auction, but people know what they're bidding on. I had to play it s simple because I'm a bit, you know, like, I'm a bit, you know, huh. um. I like that auction, though, trying to cut down on the spending, usually buying job lots. You basically buy yourself work. Very true, Lord Ahab. Um, I don't want to see you eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good point. Yeah, you don't want to see me eat it. Um, all right. Next item. Now, this is some. This is what I was hoping to find earlier when I was saying, oh, George might be interested because George Ross is a big fan of Jurassic Park. And this looks like an old school Jurassic Park toy, like an original movie toy. Um, again, I'm not sure what the value of this is going to be. Um, cherry amber bakelite -like jewelry is silly money. That's what it was, Stu. It went for... Cr but I, I don't know how much they're going to sell it for if, if they... Um, paid that much for it i mean the, the it was it was a kind of they valued it at something really low and then it just went higher and higher and higher and it was just like my, my mind boggled so i was like mm, okay anyway let's have a look at this and then i just buy stuff that's on my level and action figures are on my level jurassic park um type oh so this is not uh, unfortunately this is like in spanish or something Dinosaurios de metal para coleccionar or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is like in sp Spanish or something. Is this Spanish? 1993. So a sewing machine, I never took a second glance. Go for 800 at auction yesterday. Wow. It could be private buyers. You're right, Lord Ahab. Uh, Jurassic Park. Um, I don't know how if that would be worth much. Tyrannosaurus. Saurus. And a Demi Demetrodon. 
a Dimetrodon Kenna and it's die cast. Yeah, because it is a bit heavy. Die cast. Okay. Let's just have a look at these. Oh, okay. They're not worth much. That's a bit of a bummer. They're not worth much. 778 plus shipping. Um, 14, 23, no solds. Oh, I thought these might be worth a little bit because it's Jurassic Park. Four pound plus shipping. Wow, some guy had a whole set of them. And these are like in Spanish or something as well. So, you know, yeah. I don't think there's going to be, not going to be great, that one. Like Fiverr maybe. I'd put it up for a Fiverr because it's original. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Jurassic Park and I'll put it on for a Fiverr plus shipping, I think. Um, um, um. So that's that one. Well, we're doing well. That's 38 or 37 figures. Okay. Next item. We have got this NWO Head Ringers by Toy Biz. I don't know if this is going to be worth anything. We're nearly at the end, by the way. Look, I, yeah, I, I, I know Grove Mill Lord Ahab. Whenever I went there, though, it wasn't very good when I went there. Um, I don't know. Um... So this is, I don't know what this is worth. He had it priced up at 15, the guy that had this collection, the dealer that sold this lot. Um, so we will see what these go for. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth much. Um, did I see Nick in the chat? Hey, 94 minutes in, how can I always be so late? You didn't miss much. I did get a really cool action figure though. Um, head ringers. I've done okay. I paid £175 for a bunch of action figures. Um, okay. £10 with one bid. £6 with two bids. £7 with one bid. Okay, so you don't want to put these at bids, I'm guessing. 16 50 for like a whole bunch at auction. People are doing them at auction a lot. Not a lot. Maybe a tenner. I'd say about a tenner. Probably a tenner. That's a bit of a shame. Um... Let's put that in. Um, I, I would expect a tenner for that. AK. Yeah, N, yeah, NWO, like Hulk Hogan, yeah. Hollywood Hogan. Pretty cool. Um, but tenner at most, I think, really. Tenner's being... I think I could be able to get a tenner for it, though. I think so. Okay. So, what have we got left? There's still a couple of things left here. Um, um, Batman Forever the Riddler. Okay, so next figure that I found is this. We're near at the bottom. We're near the bottom now. Um, no, it was from an auction, Nick. Paid £175 uh, for a whole bunch of figures. Um, and I've just been going through each single one and getting the prices. Um, Batman Forever, the Riddler. Um, okay. And looking at it... Um, Let's have a look. Someone's just put one up at fifteen pounds. Um, ten pounds. Someone's put one up at. If we go to sold, ten pounds. Someone's put one up at. Yeah, I, I think at most this is a ten pound figure. Twenty. Yeah, that's a ten pound figure at most. I think Batman Forever, the Riddler. We'll put that on as a ten pound figure. Nice and easy. You actually had that toy, did you? Oh, cool. <laughs> I want that template for that spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, you don't want this spreadsheet. All right. Okay. Now that is the next item. That looks pretty old. This is a Doctor Who by Dapol, um, and it is a figure of Mel. I don't know. So Doctor Who, Dapol. We'll see what it's worth. Probably not much, knowing my luck. But we've had luck. We've had luck now. We've had luck now. Doctor Who, uh, Dapol, Mel. We'll put in. And if we transition you. Okay, £8 plus shipping. Yeah, I'll take £8 plus shipping for that little thing. Yeah. That's cool. That is cool. Um, unusual vintage as they're here. New income stream spreadsheets you have set up. You know what? No one would ever want one of my spreadsheets because they are literally a column. So we're going to talk £8 plus shipping. So these are all like cool. Um, so that's not a bad um, 
item really pretty vintage look how old is this thing 1987 wow that's old old af as they say um and then this is voice patrol talking police i'm guessing he's not working now yeah his batteries are dead because this thing is from 1991 um I don't know what this is going to be worth. It looks like it's a bit torn up, but on, on the packaging, it's little, not in the best of condition. So we will type in voice uh, patrol um, and figure. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Voice patrol figure. Let's have a look. Right, two pounds two pounds with one bid those are obviously not in their boxes I, I i can't see it being worth a lot of money let's go to current ones yeah okay no one's got a one in a package so this one's boxed so it's the only one that i know of that's boxed so maybe a fiver um no no you've missed the good one nick you've missed the good one i'll show you i'll show you the good one that we had this this is maybe a fiver i don't know it's just like old but it's not great you missed the um the, the the moment was this this was the one this guy is worth a hundred pounds so th that figure is worth a hundred pounds so really happy um okay and we've got some more batman the animated series die cast collectibles so got a couple of these that's yeah I think that's pretty much it oh and we've got this that's not gonna be worth anything because that I've seen everywhere the master series 3 let's check him out first and then that's it those that's all you have to that's all you have to tolerate tolerate um, <laughs> no go 10 pounds Z set no I'm going for the lowest I'm doing like the lowest thing I can I, I'm setting my prices at the lowest um, you know, what's in columns A to F? Oh, no, no, I just did this so you guys can see the spreadsheet in the middle. That's all. I, that's the only reason I did it like that. Um, all right, let's have a look um, in at this one here, what this goes for. I don't think it's going to go for much because I've seen this figure everywhere. Series 3, the master figure. Okay, let's just go across. Oh, yeah, as I thought, it's not worth much money. Um, series 3, the master with two... No, no, that's not the one. That's a different one. That's 20 quid. £10 is as good as I can get. £10 is as good as I can get, I think. So, yeah, £9 plus... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna put this on for like £9 or £8 plus shipping. So, Doctor Who figure goes for we'll call it eight pounds just to just to lowball ourselves again just to lowball ourselves so as you can see most of this stuff 15 10 15 15 10 15 10 10 30 you know 25 20 5 5 5 10 then there's one which is a hundred everything else 10 12 it's a lot of small figures there then there are some decent things like we had four of those things worth 40 but still anyway that's cool so now the next thing i've got is and, well, the last thing, yeah, yeah, the last thing I've got to share with you guys are these three Batman animated series uh, die cast figures by Ertel. Um, I, I don't know what these are going to be worth, but we'll quickly find out and then we can add it all up. Um, sell it to ads for double, says Lucy. Um, right, let's just quickly search these Batman figures um, and then we can all go and do stuff. Batman animated series um, Ertel die cast and we get okay that is not too bad someone got 20 pounds for the Batman figure wow I don't think I've got that Batman figure. Oh, I've got a couple of Dick Tracy things in there as well that I haven't checked. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've also got a Mr. T pocket. I didn't realise. Okay. I'll, I'll t it's 
it's probably not worth much, but there you go. Um, yeah, I could get some money for it. Ten pounds for the three. Um, well, look, someone got eight pounds for her loose. Look, someone got eight pounds for a loose loose one of that. That's that's loose for eight quid. So she's got to be worth a little bit of money then. I might stick these on at a tenner each, you know, guys. I might go for a tenner each. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Because there's not a lot there. And then the Batman went for 20. Um, so I'm going to go... And, and considering that figure there sold for eight, plus shipping, on and it's used, and I've got in new in packet, tenner each has got to be doable, right? So I've got, like, yeah... Yeah, I think ten pound each. I've got, and I've got, and I've got one which I think might be worth a fair bit because I've got the the penguin. Um, so you know, animated series penguins got to be worth some money. Um, maybe twenty. You never know. I might put, I might put this guy. Okay, seven pounds abroad, plus five pound shipping. So I'm gonna go for a tenner each. Ten each, definitely. So we've got three of those. So we'll call it. Yeah, Ertel is. Um, yeah, Ertel, Ertel. So we'll do that. Um, uh, we'll call those for like 20. So what we're going to do is Ertel, um, we'll call it Ertel Batman Figs. And we've got three of those. So we're going to call it for 30 quid, 10 or each comfortably, right? And then there's just this lot to go for. Um, no, that one wasn't worth much, I don't think. That's like a Batman. Ninja Mites. I can't see that being worth anything. Made in Macau. What's Ninja Mites? Nasty Indestructible. Five figure pack. Yeah, that's got to be worth nothing. Let me just do a, like a little search. What's a Ninja Mite? I just need I need to know. Let's just find out what Ninja Mites are. They're worth anything. Ninja Mites. I mean, this is scraping the barrel now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I say, they're scraping the barrel, and I was gonna like, I literally thought that I was gonna be rubbish, okay? And someone has managed to get eight figures um, for an uh, auction for 20, and they're loose. That's got be, that's crazy. I was literally gonna chuck that away. I was gonna chuck that away. Well, not chuck it away, but I was gonna bundle it. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> That's 20 quid for loose figures, and this is in a box. So, what do you reckon? 30? Maybe 30 for that? I mean, that's eight figures. There's only five in here, but th this is in a packet. Um, that's got to be worth some money. Um, 50, says Vinegar. Oh, talk about bursting my bubble. Why has this guy got him on at 10.99? Oh no. Uh, that's a bit of a calm down. I mean he's 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 take, taken photos, you know, he's taken photos. He ships worldwide. Um and um yeah, he's um he's got for 10.99 with best offer. I mean what I, Oh man. So what was it about those ones that were so good? Like six black, two yellow, some rare. So I'm guessing these aren't rare. Sunray series. Ninja Might Sunray series. Oh, that's such a bummer. Buy the ten ninety nine and flip it for thirty. Yeah, I think we'll go we'll just call it a tenner. We'll just call it a tenner. I'm I'm not gonna like Oh, that really hurt my feelings, guys. We're going to call it a tenner. I really thought I had another, like, right at the end of the, the video. I thought, like, oh, wow, another amazing thing. Um, the, what If Ertel is good, I've got Ertel Dick Tracy stuff here. We may as well go through that. We're, we're at the end now. Um, I've got a Mr. T. Um, oh, I should, I should make you guys bigger, shouldn't I? There you go. There we go. Look at that. So... We've got some Ertel Dick Tracy stuff. Itchy's car in a police car. Um, I've got a Mr. T pocket. <clears throat> There's a He-Man, Mattel He-Man figurine, but it doesn't look very good. Looks naff. Um, 
and I've got a Ertl Thomas the Tank Engine crane. That is it. Um, 30 Z, when his sells, yours will be next, says John. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe. But then I don't want to wait forever, but but then again, it's only a small item, easy to list. So let, let's try this. Let's go with this Ertl thing. We're down to the last one, two, three, four, five items, guys. Five items. All right, okay, five items. Thank you for hanging around. How many people are actually watching? It'll be interesting to know. Wow, 120 people watching. Thanks, guys. I'm genuinely surprised. I'm genuinely, genuinely surprised. Thank you so much uh, for hanging around for so long. Um, yeah, like, right, let's go on with this. Ertl Crane. Um, Ertl Crane. He only had it priced at £5, so I'm not expecting it to be worth a stack of cash. Um, Ertl Crane. Well, one sold for £7. That's with free shipping as well, so... Seven, well, someone got seven plus. I think you should be able to get seven pounds and shipping on top, I think. Although someone took an offer, 12. Yeah, I think seven, we'll go for seven plus shipping on the Ertl Crane. I think that's doable. All right. Um, let's go back to the spreadsheet. We're on item number 45 now. Um, so we're going to go for seven pound plus shipping. So I think that's doable on that one, to be honest with you. Right. Um, thumbs up for his great haul. Oh, thank you, Unusual Vintage. Appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Um, such a nerve with the photos. <laughs> People love this stuff. This dummy. Um, all right, let's do the Mr. T pocket. Um, so the dealer had it marked at five pounds when he was selling it. I'm guessing at toy fairs or whatever. Um, Mr. T in your pocket. Six hell of a tough. I might have to keep this. Don't give me no back talk, sucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Man. Don't make me mad. This, why why would I sell this? First name, mister. Middle name, period. Last name, T. Shut up, fool. <laughs> Shut up, fool. Why would I sell this? Like, yeah. I mean, that is, you know, that's just, I, I don't know why anyone would sell this. Um, if you don't have one, you should definitely buy one. Uh, Mr. T in your pocket. <laughs> that is so cool. That is... Um, okay. No way. No way. Okay. I might have to sell it. I don't know. 20 quid? That's a lot of money. I didn't think that was worth 20 quid. <laughs> I'll give you 1k. <laughs> I'm guessing Peter Cummins is a bit of a Mr. T fan. I, that is an epic toy I need, it says Crispy. You must keep that. Joan says that's brilliant. That's awesome for... <laughs> Make that your phone's voicemail. <laughs> Everyone needs one of them. I saw. I just saw an American sell this $35 mark, says TKX. Yeah, I mean, £20. Yeah, that sounds about right. £20 plus shipping. Some people have let them go cheap. Look, £7 and like £10 and whatnot. So... Um, that was an autograph one that went for 31, but 20, someone's trying to get 40, 20 should be doable, I think 20 should be, this might be really good at Amazon, you never know, something like that might be really good at Amazon, because, like, it's crazy, but 20 pounds, um, Merlin says, that Mr. T will keep Z entertained for hours, he'll keep it, I, I pity the fool that sells that. <laughs> The thing is, guys, it's it's twenty pounds, man. Like, would you keep if you bought this in a haul? Would you keep it? How many of you would honestly keep it? I mean, get up, fool. <laughs> that sounds so good. Why? <laughs> Sorry, that's my favorite. Get up, fool. <laughs> I'm thinking ways I could use this in my day-to-day -day life, you know, I'm, I need to find a way that I could use this, um, like, somehow in my day-to-day -day life. It, it, there must be a way of using this. Like, just... Shut up, fool! <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Um, one of the lads um, found a Mr. T thing on a site and refused to answer any questions in the office via anything but this... <laughs> Really, Bobby, that's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> um, 20. I, I think 20, yeah, probably double on Amazon. Um, 
Yeah, t TKX says get shot of it all. I'm surprised that's worth money, really. I really am. I thought it wouldn't be worth anything. So I'm I'm surprised. We'll, we'll call it 20. Um, so, yeah. Um, wow. Genuinely surprised at that one. This haul is getting good. Like, 46 items. We're down to our last three items. This isn't going to be worth much. Hey, Shazad, how are you? Um, uh, 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 Kent Daigle's in the chat. Tracy's still in there. It's a business expense, says Tracy. Really? <laughs> hey, my pack rat. Um, Z, use it on Beck. Are you crazy, Pleasant Valley? Uh, <laughs> Masters of the Universe, He-Man figure by Mattel. That's got to be worth nothing. It looks horrific as well. Um, I don't think that's very good. It's a, it's a seven centimeter figure, um, so we'll we'll price it. But I think it's gonna be lame. Seven centimeter he man, Ooh. he man, figure, Mattel, and we will search that. Um, and well, I'm I'm okay. I'm kind of surprised. That's actually not bad. Eight pounds fifty for that. I wouldn't have thought eight pounds fifty for that. That's not bad. Um, it didn't look very good. It just didn't look worth a lot. You know, it looks a bit kind of meh. Okay, eight pound plus shipping. We'll call it eight pound plus shipping. Mister T, in your pockets come good, man. Eight pounds plus shipping. There we go. Eight plus shipping. Put that there. On to the final two items. I'm making sure there's no dregs of anything else. I think we're good. Yep, alright, so we're down to pretty good sales rank on Amazon, says Nick. Ah, cool. Um, now, last two items, guys. Da -da 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 -da. He Man is, gen is money generally, anything 80s. It didn't look 80s. Um, right. Let's do these last two items, these these Ertl items. We have got the Ertl Dick Tracy police car. Um, and that is uh, Walt Disney. Does it have a, a, a year on it anywhere? I don't know. Ages three and over. Die cast metal. It looks to have been glued back though. You can see, if you look closely, it's kind of been glued back. Like it, as if these have been torn and re put back on the card um so that he-man was an 80s not reprocessed jay dennis oh really i didn't know okay let's have a look at this then Ertl uh, itchy's car i mean it's a shame that they're they're not it's a shame that okay they're not worth much money anyway cool that's cool not worth much money at all guys um that one at auction for 99p four pounds yeah not worth much money okay police car won't be worth much either i'm guessing Ertl uh, police car i'll put dick tracy because obviously that's going to be kind of too much of a thing um okay well i mean he got 29.99 for four cars though um i could bun i think those are a bundle they're, they're going to be a bundle for me. Maybe a bundle for a tenner. No FBA sellers either. Could be worth throwing them up there for £25 is Barry Brown. Okay. I don't know. This We'll leave these off because they don't seem worth much. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And they're, they're, they're kind of torn, which is a shame. Right. Horrible movie, says my pack rat. Right. Now, guys, let's have a look at... Oops. Let's have a look at the spreadsheet. I'm not going to put those on because they were like, yeah. Um, let's quickly just work this out. Um, equal sum. So, on my very, uh, like, these have been quite low-balled. These, these numbers, all of these numbers, I've gone for the, the sale, selling price, not for holding out price. So if I was to price these, these are all aggressive prices, I suppose. Um, I could get more in some of them. Um, but I just feel that like it made sense for me to go for an aggressive price so I can shift these. And these are excluding um, shipping. Kent Daigle, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thanks for your channel. I have listed a ton today, Kent says. I'm so glad, Kent. I do appreciate it. 
Um, thank you very much uh, for the super chat. I'm glad that you were able to ship a lot. I'm going to be shipping. Uh, no, not shipping. Listing a lot. You've listed a ton there. I'm going to be listing later on now. I need to eat something and then I'll be coming back and doing some listing. Um, but yeah, 175 spent. The total should be around 660 pounds. Um, excluding shipping. Shipping would be on top of that. So if you added shipping on top, that number would be quite a bit bigger, obviously, because, you, you know, depending on where items are going, etc. But that is not bad for £175 spend at the auction today. Um, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. Um, so, guys. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to do um, a lot more of these listings tonight. I'm going to try to get everything listed if I can. There's a lot there, but I'm going to do... If I have to work late, I'll work late, get them listed. Um, because obviously I've spent the money and we want the returns, but that is excellent stuff. Um, my pack rat says, good to bump into you, Z. Been a while. Thank you for popping in. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a while. Good to see you in the chat. Um, David M, the car boot picker, has popped in as well. Hi there. Thank you for popping in. Kent says, I've been contemplating. I do posh and it's meh. Plenty of maintenance. Oh, okay. Um, and BCP has put a link into Lucy's YouTube channel, Lucy1666. Please go and um, check that out um she's a fantastic uh lady well worth checking out really nice to uh, hang with i've played a lot of Fortnite with her actually and she's a lovely lady um kevin says so about 500 pounds after fees not bad as long as you can list it quickly yeah it's got to be listed quickly and it's got to you know it, it should sell quickly because i'm pricing very competitively if i ask for more than those prices like say if i'm listing and i decide to ask for more it will obviously hang around a lot more but still really pleased with that thank you so much thank you so much to the 135 people that are watching this uh, uh thank you to all the lovely folk that have have sent me super chat as well i do appreciate it um shameless plug i've got links in the description below to my other youtube channel and my twitch channel which i play fortnite on and rebecca's channel as well where rebecca will be doing nail videos she does her own acrylic nails and paints them and does stuff well she's going to start doing that i'm just plugging it now thank you for watching really do appreciate it guys um and hopefully someone else is going to be going live soon um and um, yeah, hopefully someone else is going to go live soon and I'll pop on later and do some actual listing of this stuff. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.